Hi everyone, it's Dorko. It's Wednesday again. I just finished my morning routine. Welcome to the Daily Calm. Today we'll be discussing the transient nature of all things. Start by taking a position that's comfortable. Down by the sea. Wednesday and it's another craziest day of a week for me and I have a business trip to Utah from tomorrow so today it's gonna be a little bit crazier than usual Wednesday but it's okay um, there are some days like you know this a little bit crazier than usual and a little bit different you may have a presentation project meeting or so I feel a little bit more nervous and insecure of course um, I think it's natural so today I have a little bit longer meditation session than usual I just try to give myself enough time to calm down and one more time go through what I was nervous about and try to secure the space between that event and myself just try to learn as much as you can um, during that entire process and it'll be all fine so because of that I think today is one of the best days to talk about meditation routine I'm going to briefly talk about how I started meditating and tools that help me practice um, and what I learned and how I keep my meditation notes. So I started meditating as I started my miracle morning routine. So it's been two and a half years again. I had never tried meditation before, but I had heard a lot about it, you know. All the you know famous people like Steve Jobs, Jeff Weiner, Ray Dalio, Paul McCartney, like who else? Like just you name it, Tim Ferriss, Tony Robbins. You know, they all meditate and they always talk about meditation. So I wanted to try, but I just didn't know like what to do. But you know, meditation was the first part of the Miracle Morning routine. So I just started, but of course I didn't know what to do. You close your eyes, you're there, but you just don't know what to do <laughs> in that silence. Yeah, that was a start. And I decided to learn a little bit more about the meditation. So I tried a guided meditation video on YouTube, so I started like that. There was some voice to listen to, so that gives me, that makes me feel a little bit comfortable. But after trying the same video over and over, I wanted to try a little bit different thing. And you know, I wanted to learn some techniques if there is any. So I tried several apps, meditation apps, right? Before that, I had heard a lot about this app called Headspace. Mandushi tried using it before and I also heard a lot about this guide Andy named Andy's Headspace is the first app that I gave a shot and then there is a free trier and I did it and of course the, at the end of the trier it asked me um, if I want to do the paid membership so uh, I was not convinced so I was like okay let's just try different apps so second app that I tried was a Calm. Calm provided um, guided meditation and the guide was a female. So uh, her name is Tamar Lovett. And I think I personally felt more comfortable with Tamara's voice. I think it's just a like totally uh, personal preference. So after seven days of uh, free trial, I started um, doing the paid membership. So yeah, it was not very expensive. It was like, $12 per month. I was not convinced to buy one year package, but I just um, subscribed for a month and I was going to decide after a month, but I just, you know, used the calm for a while. I think at least for a year from there. And then I am a listener of Tim Ferriss podcast. And then Tim Ferriss talked a lot about Sam Harris. And if you are a Tim Ferriss fan, you know this episode, Tim ate like weird brownie and then he ran to Sam Harris in the restroom. He was not at his best condition, but he just said hi to Sam Harris and you know that episode. So I was a little bit curious about how Sam Harris meditates. So Sam Harris has his own app, meditation app called Waking Up. I switched to Waking Up for a while, I think a half a year or so. 
yeah it was a very interesting experience because they it just gave me a different perspective you know different guides can give you different perspective about the meditation and different a little slightly different techniques so it was very helpful long story short the headspace calm uh, waking up those are the three meditation apps i've tried so far i think the calm was my favorite one so eventually i'm back to calm right now so, but yeah i think it's a very good idea to um, try different apps and find your personal preference that's how i learned the body scan and how to focus on breath and you know how to observe my thoughts after two and a half years of meditation it's not that i'm like shifu right now inner peace i'm still like very clumsy baby kung fu panda with my meditation journey <laughs> long way to go but yeah but if someone asks me what is meditation to you my answer for now is to know that i'm not my thoughts but i am an observer of my thoughts that's not what i said but this is actually what michael singer um, said in his book and tattered soul but that description really um, i think is close to what i'm doing meditation really consistently kept teaching me how to focus on the present and not really drifting around with my thoughts and emotions so let me describe it this way so before let's say that i'm making fried rice and then eat that for dinner i am focusing on the work that i should do after this and i have this obsession about you know saving time not wasting time so I'm cooking the fried rice, but you know, I just put whatever that is in the fridge um, out and then just cook and then thinking about something else and then eating them mindlessly like scrolling down my phone. You know, that was just a real me when I was in grad school. But it doesn't necessarily, I think, meant that I was very productive because after saving time like that and I go back to the office and, you know, still i couldn't really focus on writing my dissertation or i just like drifted around with my insecurity and like worries and concerns and things like that for now like it's a little it's a baby very small changes but you know for example i decided to put cabbages in my fried rice and then i cut it and i can feel like oh it feels good to kind of cut the cabbage it's weirdly satisfying to cut the cabbages and i laugh and you know, I put the cabbages in my fried rice and then put the egg and then cook it and smell it and you know, it smells good and it makes me feel happy. Oh, I like fried rice. And then as I eat it, you know, I'm like, oh, I didn't have egg yesterday, but I put, you know, I put the egg today. It tastes a little bit better than yesterday's fried rice. I kind of am in the moment so I can appreciate things more and I can you know enjoy that more and uh, of course it's not that all my worries and all my kind of obsessions that I usually have are completely gone and I'm like free from everything it's not like that I still have that concern I still have the insecurity but I know a little better how to put my thoughts drifting thoughts and emotions back um, into that moment so i'm still practicing but i like uh, the changes i've been experiencing also a lot of you guys have asked that uh, what i write under the meditation section on my morning journal so i usually write about how i feel um, the first feeling in the morning like you know if i'm nervous i, I just write down that i'm nervous if my legs hurt a little bit from snowboarding, I also write that down. So it's kind of like first the body scan or first um, mood scan of the day. Um, and then after that, I do the daily calm. So that's like daily meditation, 10 minute daily meditation session that, that Calm app um, offers. So I do that and then it has a subject every day. Um, so it changes every day, but it has its own subject. So today it was a mandala. Yesterday it was a loving heart. God talks about the subject a little bit. So something re if something resonates with me, um, I write that down and also my thoughts about that subject. And also Calm provides some quote, like one quote, quote every day. And then if I like, and if I want to kind of remember it and then want to recall later, I kind of write it down to keep that in mind. 
that was a summary of how I started, what I tried, what I've learned, and how I am keeping that habit. So if you've been practicing meditation, share your changes and share your tools with me and others. Um, that would be very helpful. Someone said that if you don't have 10 minutes to meditate, you need 10 hours of meditation. <laughs> um, yeah, if you are interested in giving a shot, it's almost six, so time to start Wednesday. It'll be very really fun. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.